there's like something itchy on my face. Oh, this made it worse. Ah! Leave me when I say I can be the Hey guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do my more soft romantic, you know, not as dramatic as my last Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. If you haven't checked that out, it will be linked somewhere down below or in the cards. I really love how this turned out and this will probably, definitely, probably, definitely, good choice of words, Connor. This will probably be more along the lines of what I'm actually going to wear on Valentine's Day. We shall see. It's really easy to achieve. There's no, like, cut creases. There's no fancy eyeliner. It's all matte, so it's very... Ooh. Hello. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get into the video. Alrighty, so to start off, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I was very excited to be using this for the first time. To carve my brows out and to act as a primer for all the eyeshadow that we're going to put on top. And I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Looking snazzy and then to set that I'm going to use the RCMA no color powder and I made sure to like set it really well just so none of the shadows skipped or looked a bit weird then I'm going to take the Morphe 35R palette and I'm going to take those two top shades and mix them together and use that as my crease color and I'm just blending that through the crease taking it pretty high and building up the color quite a lot then I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Tuscan Sun, I don't know why I found that so hard to say, and I'm going to blend that through the crease just to bring a little bit of the pink vibe to it, but it's not like a really bright in your face pink, it's more like a muted tone, which is what I was going for. And then I'm going to take Sorbet by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to add that to the first like third of my lid just so there's a bit of light and I think I mixed it with like a white colour from the Morphe palette as well. Oh my gosh, I'm going so fast. And then I'm going to take Americano by Makeup Geek and I'm going to focus this in the outer corner of my eye and bring it in a little bit like halfway into the crease just to add some depth. I'm going to go back in and blend with the Tuscan Sunshade just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And I'm going to kind of like blend it down onto the lower lash line as well because I'm going to make a liner which I'm taking a like definer brush here and I'm just going to stamp Americano like on my lash line just so it creates like a smoky and kind of like sexy like sultry effect if that makes sense. I really love the look of like dark brown liner that's like eyeshadow. And I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And you totally could just leave it here. You don't have to add lashes. But I just went ahead and added some Dodo Lashes. I really like these ones. These are the same that I used in my other makeup tutorial. I look like the biggest slob right now. So let's get this makeup on as soon as possible. For primer, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer. I only need a little bit because for some reason it like goes a long way. Like this is probably going to be too much. So... Just get the curls back. My face, my skin is looking a little bit better. It looks worse on, it always looks worse on camera for some reason. Like a lot of my skin is flat, like there's no actual pimples or it's not like bumpy. It's just got a lot of um, like leftover pigmentation at the moment, which is annoying. Okay, for some reason that primer looks really dry on my skin. So I'm going to use the Raw Australia Organics Super Feud. <sighs> I think I've done that in like three videos now. Super Food Primer because it's nice and moisturizing. And I need moisture primer. So for foundation, I was going to use my Hourglass Vanish Stick because that's like my all-time favorite foundation. However, I did this combo yesterday or the other day and it was really, really nice. So I'm going to use the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in the color 3. And the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I did a review video on this ages ago and I haven't really used it again purely because the color is like way too orange if that makes sense but when I mix them together it like matches my tan really nicely I'm gonna do a couple pumps of the EX1 which I really like this foundation and then like one pump of the ordinary to darken it a little bit where this to my face I want my skin to look flawless but I don't want it to look really heavy like I'd rather it be not as full coverage but be nice and like healthy looking if that makes sense like and it matches my tan really well it probably looks a bit lighter on camera just because just because of the lights i get a lot of questions about what um like self tanner i use and i predominantly use uh, like bondi sands ultra dark that's usually my go-to i have tried like the let tan uber darks and my mom and i actually have like a spray tanning machine at home that we sometimes use but like most nine times out of ten i use bondi sands ultra dark 
and I really like it. I do like the Uber Dark by Latan, but I don't know. Bondi Sand's just my go-to, you know. I will film like a self-tanning routine because I have been getting like a lot of requests lately for that. So let me know what your plans for Valentine's Day are, whether you have someone to celebrate it with. Celebrate it, is that the right term? Or whether you're just gonna be chilling at home, watching a movie with your gal pals, whatever you're doing, I'll let me know. I'd love to know. And if you're not doing anything with like a certain someone, I guess. Who cares? Don't get hung up about it. I think I used to love in school, we used to do like the whole rose service, like the one in Mean Girls. Um, like people would actually buy roses and get them delivered to people in classes and stuff. Spoil my ears so they're not white. But I love this combination and it's nice and like healthy looking. I feel like I'm having a good eyebrow day today. I'm happy. It's not full, full coverage. It's pretty dang close though. Um, but I really love it. And then for concealer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Dave Concealer. I am gonna be filming a review of the foundation tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that video. But yes, I'm very excited to use this. I have used it like obviously for the eyes and stuff. Um, but it's just so cool to finally actually have it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit because you don't need a lot of this stuff at all. And I'm gonna go under the eyes. I'm using the color light sand and it actually matches like my actual skin tone pretty well I don't know how people use so much of this stuff because it's like crazy full coverage like if I were to use any more than that I feel like it would look really cakey but hey each to their own I'm not sure whether it's my favorite concealer as of yet. I feel like I still have to play around with it, but it is definitely my most like full coverage concealer, I'd say. Just put some forehead. To set everything, I'm gonna be using the Models Own Translucent Powder. I'm gonna take the Airbrush Concealer by Models Prefer. I'm gonna put this under my eyes. Blend out, ooh, I just got powder everywhere. Just to set that concealer and on my chin and forehead. And nose, apparently. And then to set the remainder of my face, just so I can blend powder products on top, I'm going to take the EX1 um, compact powder. And I'm just going to actually apply it where I'm going to bronze and contour. And kind of like all over my forehead, just because that's where I get oily. Just a touch oily. Front of a big old crowd. To contour my face, I'm going to take the NYX contour palette. There you go, it's bigger. I'm going to mix these two colours together just because this one's more cool and that's a bit more warm. And this stuff is so pigmented, so just proceed with caution. Holy dooly, on camera that looks insane. Go under that jawline. There's like something itchy on my face. Oh, this made it worse. Ah! I'm actually going to switch my brushes because I'm just that extra and I'm going to bronze my forehead so it's not like, it doesn't get stuck. Lovely. This is a Real Techniques blush brush. Not using it for blush though. I don't think I ever have. Does anyone else have like absurd amounts of baby hair? Like this is baby hair or it's like flyaways. I don't know what you want to call it. I just have a lot of it. Like, my mum actually thought I cut my hair the other day because she was like, what is that? I'm like, I don't know. Okie dokie. To clean up the bronzer, because it looks a bit muddy on camera, I'm going to use my RCMA No Colour Powder and cut my cheeks. Ooh, look at that line. <laughs> Just going to let that sit for a second. And by a second, I mean literally a second. If I leave it any longer, it gets really harsh. And now we have the beautiful contour. And then for blush, you can't really skip blush for a Valentine's Day look. So I'm gonna use the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. These blushes are so pretty. And you could totally use like a blush for the eyeshadow if you want to. Smile. Oh, 
I feel like I look like a chipmunk. <laughs> and then for highlight, woo, I'm gonna take my sleek Cleopatra's Kiss highlighting palette and I'll mix the gold and this pinky color. <gasps> Lord knows, this is the most beautiful highlight of all time, at least from the drugstore. Like, can you see that? <gasps> I hope that's picking up on camera because holy moly, you're gonna blind your date. We're gonna blind. Whoever the heck you want. My boyfriend's gonna have to wear sunglasses when he sees me. He can't handle the glow. So I'm just gonna go fairly all over my face. And then for the lower lash line, I'm not gonna do too, too much. I'm gonna take Tuscan Sun. Just so it has like a little bit of pink. And like a little bit of something there to balance it out. And then I'm gonna take Americano. And go in like the very outer edge. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara. I just think this looks so like, romantic. I don't know why. Okay, for lips, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Exotic. I think this is going to go perfectly with the look. I think I used this in my last video. Oh girl, I really love how this looks. I'm gonna get changed and look a little bit more presentable. And that guys brings us to the end of the tutorial. I really love how this turned out and this will actually probably be what I will do for Valentine's Day or something along these lines, you know, just something really soft, romantic. That was really the vibe that I was going for and I think I nailed it. Is that tooting my own horn? I don't know. Keep an eye out for my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation review. That will be coming soon, as well as some more, like, fashion videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I hope you're having a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I'm away, but I don't want to wait. My time is of the essence, don't you know? If you give me...